Ryan Poles is meeting with everyone he can at the moment. As the top 30 visit list continues to heat up, there have now been over 15 confirmed players at Hallis Hall over the last few days that could be future Chicago Bears. Some of the big names that have been there are quarterback Caleb Williams, edge rusher Dallas Turner, wide receiver Malik Neighbors, edge rusher Chop Robinson, and wide receiver Rome Adunze. We are also looking for key depth pieces to be a part of this team for the long-term plan moving forward and Ryan Poles is doing his homework and meeting with the right guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. I am going to run through the confirmed top 30 visits that have been to Hallis Hall over the last couple of weeks and who I am most excited for and why. Now, before I begin today's show, make sure you comment your three favorite top 30 visits after this video, along with liking the video as well if you think Poles is bringing in the right players to be future Chicago Bears. So let's start off with the biggest name on the offensive side of the ball, quarterback Caleb Williams of USC. The 6'1", 214-pound quarterback runs a 4.59 40 time, has an arm length of 32 inches, and has a hand diameter of nine and three fourths inches in 2023 for usc he had 3633 passing yards along with 143 rushing yards a pass completion percentage of 68.6 a qbr of 118.6 Passing touchdowns 30, rushing touchdowns 12, with five interceptions in 16 fumbles. He brings everything to this team and why he's a projected number one overall pick. Considering he's the generational type talent at the quarterback position the Bears have been dying for for a very long time, with great arm strength and accuracy, able to make plays with his legs, and great at reading defenses and changing things at the line. Currently, he's rejected top two pick, but we all know that the Bears are going to use that number one overall pick on him if Ryan pulls stays at number one. The second big name on the offensive side of the ball that has come to Hallis Hall is LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbors. The six foot 200 pound wide receiver runs a 4.35 40 time, which is crazy quick downfield speed, along with having a 42 inch vertical, making him a jump ball king. An arm length of 31 and 3 eighths inches, long arms for his sides, able to extend and make plays, but also jump and make red zone plays as well over defenders. And he has nine and seven eighths inch hands hand diameter mitts, absolute mitts to grab everything. This past year for LSU, he had 1,569 receiving yards, which makes him, yeah, we absolutely needed that last year, uh, along with a QBR when targeted of 130.6, which makes him very reliable. This past year for the Tigers, he had 14 receiving touchdowns, which would have been great for the Bears last year. And what he brings to the table is that he is DJ Moore 2.0, a strong receiver with great speed and agility, elite route running, and can just do everything he has to. He could ball for us, and there is a chance that I would love to see him and Caleb Williams together. A projected top 10 pick. Then, one of the most recent visits is Washington wide receiver Rome Adunze. The 6'3 tower weighs in at 214 pounds and runs a 4.4340 time. Not the fastest, but he makes up for it in every other way. 39 inch vertical, his height plus jump equals lethal, an arm length of 32 and one fourth inches and a hand diameter of nine and one fourth inches. Last year for Washington, an absolute beast. 1,640 receiving yards along with 37 rushing yards, which he had a touchdown, a QBR when targeted of 121.9 along with 13 receiving touchdowns in one rushing touchdown. A big bodied wide receiver that can learn from six time Pro Bowler Keenan Allen along with catches everything Thing, has great hand size and vision and great awareness to be a touchdown and first down machine and a reliable target for the next decade for the Chicago Bears. A projected top 10 pick at the moment met right after Caleb Williams and this could be the one-two punch that we see on draft night. Another visit last week that had a lot of people going, okay, I kind of see it, but why is tight end Brock Bowers from Georgia. 6'4", 230 pounds, runs a 4.48 40 time, which is insanely fast for a tight end over the middle and a guy that big with an arm length of 32 and three fourths inches good reach length and nine and three fourths inches hands which has absolute mitts and catches everything 
Last year for Georgia, he had 714 receiving yards with a 10 yard per catch average, a QBR when targeted of 136.5 and six receiving touchdowns. A very reliable target that would make an unbelievable tight end room with Cole Komet, Gerald Everett, and Brock Bowers. A top athletic tight end, great speed and agility for a guy with that frame, and also good at run and pass blocking, making him a dual threat. A projected top 15 pick at the moment. I don't see the Bears having this one done, but they're doing their homework and anything is possible. Then a guy you might not have heard of, running back Dylan Lobby from New Hampshire, the 5'10", 206-pound running back, runs a 4.5440 time, and he is built like an absolute tank. 37-inch vertical, having bunny hops for a guy built like him, an arm length of 29 and 3 fourths inches, short arms, but doesn't stop him, obviously, and a hand diameter of 9 and 1 fourths inches. Last year for New Hampshire, he had 699 receiving yards along with 715 rushing yards, a complete dual threat that could go to the outside or from the backfield, totaling for over 1,400 yards of offense and nine total touchdowns. He's a dual threat out of the backfield, strong blocker as well. Dude rips it upfield and is very difficult to take down and would be a running back three for sure. A projected fourth to fifth rounder, but the Bears informed him that they don't likely think that they'll be taking him after his visit. Wasn't sure what happened, but clearly wasn't a part of the game plan. An exciting offensive target that the Bears could be going after is center Zach Frazier out of West Virginia. The 6'3", 313 pound wall of the center runs a 5.2940 time, along with having a 28 and a half inch vertical, 32 and one fourth inch arms, which is long arms, cover a lot of space up the middle, and a hand diameter of 10 and 7 eighths inches, not letting anyone get by him and having super strong grip off the football. Last year for West Virginia allowed zero sacks, only four quarterback hurries and three quarterback hits in 800 offensive snaps, has a run block grade of 82 out of 100 and a pass block grade of 85 out of 100 according to NFLDraftBuzz.com. And what he brings to the table is a true trench record that isn't scared of anyone and it is a super reliable person at all levels of the game. A projected second or third rounder, the Bears do have that third rounder, but they could bring back that nine a little bit, get a second rounder and end up getting Zach Frazier. Then polls brought in a local Chicago game offensive tackle Corinne Amengabi from Yale, the 6'5", 323 pound massive man runs a 5.140 time with 36 and 1 H arm length. That is massive arm length to cover a lot of space and be a dominant left tackle in this league. He has also a hand diameter of nine and five inch inches, which is big hands to help hold defenders in their area. Last year for Yale, he allowed zero sacks, five quarterback hurries, zero quarterback hits, had a run block rate of 80 out of 100 and a pass block rate of 94 out of 100 according to NFLDraftBuzz.com. A big offensive tackle that could be a key depth piece to just drive defenders away from the quarterback and would fill in a great depth piece instantly if Darnell Wright or Braxton Jones were to go down. A projected second or third round pick, another guy the Bears could have their eyes on if they stick at center what they have now or if they want to bring in more depth at the tackle position. And the final offensive person that came in for a top 30 visit that's reported at the moment is Michigan offensive guard Trevor Keegan. The 6'5", 310 pound guard is an athletic build that pulls loves for his interior offensive lineman, is also a local Chicagoland kid, runs a 5.2440 time along with having a 30 and a half inch vertical, an arm length of 32 and three eighths inches and a hand diameter of 10 inches. Big, strong hands and his stats show for that. Last year for Michigan, zero sacks allowed, 10 quarterback hurries and one quarterback hit. A run block grade of 65 out of 100 and a pass block grade of 78 out of 100. A big interior guard that could be quick and athletic on run plays and a projected third to fourth round pick. I would love to see polls bring him in. Now, before I get into the defensive top 30 visits, make sure to scan the QR code on your screen right now to get your ticket to our 2024 NFL draft party at Rizzo's Bar and Inn on April 25th, starting at 6 p.m. Central Time. Free freshie, free dr uh, special drink deals, which free freshie is free drinks, food deals, games, prizes, other podcasters, and more will all be at one of the best Bears draft parties of 2024. Your ticket is a donation to a local Chicago nonprofit. You can spend $1, you can spend $500, or anything in between. We're greatly appreciated for your donation, and we just want to see you guys there. If you can't make it, make sure to tune into our live stream starting at 6.40 p.m. Central Time on Just Another Year Chicago Bears with Deeks View, Swifty Sports Network, Bill from Three Point Stand, Chris Malty, and more. We can't wait to see you. Now let's get into the defensive top 30 visits. The 
start off with the biggest name is Alabama edge rusher Dallas Turner. 6'4", 247 pounds, runs a 4.46 40 time. The fastest edge recorded at the past draft with a 40 and a half inch vertical. Great pass to flexion central, along with having a 34 and 3 inch orange leg. Great for wrapping up opponents and a 9 and 7 inch hand diameter. So he is not letting anyone get by him. And his stats show for that from Alabama last year. 53 total tackles with 23 solo, 15 tackles for loss, 10 sacks, 2 force fumbles, and 1 pass deflection. He brings everything that you want and at the edge position, a backfield record, strong tackler, and crazy athletic. Also can drop back into coverage and be another linebacker. A projected top 10 pick could be used for number 9. Then the most recent edge we brought in was Penn State edge rusher Chop Robinson, standing at 6'3", 254 pounds, running a 4.4740 time with a 34 and a half inch vertical, still good for pass deflections, and an arm length of 32 and a half inches. Good length as well, just like Turner, along with having a hand diameter of 9 and 1 8 inches. Last year for Penn State, he had 15 total tackles, 12 being solo, being a one-man wrecking crew and eight tackles for loss, along with four sacks, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, and one pass deflection. An athletic player that is always in the backfield and doesn't allow to get a broken tackle, a projected top 20 pick if the Bears decide to move back, get some more draft capital for later on, I see Chop Robinson being taken at, by the Bears. A new one that I've learned today was defensive back Elijah Jones from Boston College. The 6'2", 185-pound defensive back runs a 4.4440 time, which means he can keep up with literally anybody playing defense to back and safety has a 42 and a half inch vertical with having a height and vertical like that he can cover anybody an arm length of 31 and a half inch inches and nine inch hand diameter last year for boston college had 25 total tackles 18 being solo with eight pass deflections five interceptions and one force fumble he's an absolute ball hawk a big dude huge ras and makes him a really big threat a projected fourth to fifth rounder at the moment i would like to see polls potentially take him at 122 then you have defensive back Cam Hart out of Notre Dame, who is 6'3", even bigger than Elijah Jones. A 202 pounds strong with a 4.540 time. Not bad at all with a 40 inch vertical. Again, great for pass deflections and interceptions. Arm length of 33 inches to cover a lot of space and a 9 and 3 eighths hand diameter. Last year for the Fighting Irish, he had 21 total tackles, 15 being solo, 4 pass deflections, 3 tackles for loss, 3 force fumbled, and 1 fumble recovery. A big DB that covers a lot of ground can be a haul hawk and do it all along with being the next potential peanut tillman with all those forced fumbles a projected third round pick i could see why poles is keeping his eye on him and the final guy is defensive back namiar prickett out of auburn the six foot 190 pound defensive back runs a 4.36 40 time 34 and a half inch vertical 31 and a half inch arm length and eight and three eighths inch hand diameter for sure the smallest player overall but his stats don't let again heart oversized for sure here 22 total tackles 18 being solo three pass deflections one interception one tackle for loss and one special teams touchdown a fast athletic defensive back that is a special teams guru and also doesn't allow anyone to get near him when he's dropping back into coverage a projected third round pick at the moment wouldn't mind him being added to the very stacked defensive back room as well overall out of all these guys the big names are super exciting but i would love for the bears to get dallas turner at number nine i would love if the bears get roma dunze at number nine malik Nate Neighbors. I'm trying not to bite that one, but I would love to see him at nine as well. But really excited about some of these later guys. I think Cam Hart could be a safety of the future for the Chicago Bears. Elijah Jones is pretty good too. And don't sleep on Chop Robinson. Great player. I'm excited about all of them, guys. But I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And thank you for tuning in to this very long episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed the content. Comment your thoughts in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But with that, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody. And as always, bear down, baby.